Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Wait a minute. I don't think... Oh, it is? Wait. Is my... I don't think VC Face is capturing my audio. Um, but thank you, and then thank you, Snipes, for the resubs. And, uh, hi, Lane. Hi, Snipester. Hi, Frog. Hi, Myriad. Uh, hi, Axia. Hi, Dark Striker. Hi, everyone. Heckin' hearts. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, hello. Test, test. I don't know if it's working. Test, test. Not at all. Boop. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Lane. All right, that looks better. I think it's working now. I don't think it's registered my eyes yet. Of course, there's gonna be hiccups, right? Camera. Come on. Hey, there we go. Isn't it pretty early? Uh, kind of. <laughs> but I don't know. I I wanted to set a time and stick to it, so I'm. I'm, I'm doing it. Um, the scuff gang gang, exactly. Um, so, how's, how's the audio for everyone? It's been a while since I've been here. So, to start learning Blender, we of course start in Godot. Um, I want to set up the Blender, um, I thought there were like Blender things, import, Blender path, well I'm running Blender 4, I wonder if this matters. That, that 3.1 is empty. And what the? <coughs> Heckin' cuties coming in here. Hi, Carrie. How'd your stream go? Heckin' hearts. Thanks for the raid. You are doing art. Art tax. I want to see what you are working on. Everybody, go follow Carrie if you're not already. Wait. Did the shout out. Did my shout out command actually give a shout out? Or was that. Was that one of the mods? Uh. Hi, Nintoya. How's your day going? Uh. Nen, your stream setup in Godot looks so heckin' rad. I can't even. Uh, you sure the Blender Asset Library system was made by a sadist? Oh dear, I'm just about to start trying that. You did the shout out? Okay, and then gotcha. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait, does my shout out work again for some reason? <laughs> oh, I, I see you peek in there, and then Heckin' cutie. Um... 
still call you Cam? All right. Uh, well, which, what did you prefer? Uh, hi, Splitfire. How's your day going? Um, select current folder. I, this is what I want? And then I thought there was another thing. New stream set. I know, right? That 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 phone uh, with the chat thing looks so heckin' rad. It's like totally persona. Camera Toya. Okay. I will slowly migrate over to Toya, but I might call you Cam sometimes. Art tax. Hell yes. Kiri! Holy flip! This looks amazing. Look at this! This is so heckin' rad! And this is like how your room is set up, right? Uh, hi Kate Johnson! Um, this... Oh, this is so cool! Jinx and it. Um... Ah, I see the little blow height. And all the little image... Ah. Oh, this... This is so rad, Gary. I love this. And this bed setup. I... I know I keep commenting on it, but this bed setup looks so comfy. <laughs> Again, Jinx and <laughs> uh, Thanks for the raid, and thank you so much for sharing. This, this is, ah, uh, I hope to get to this, this level of blenderism someday. Still a work in progress? You mean there's more? Model is so rad. I can watch them work on it. Hell yes! Yeah, Kiri is heckin' amazing at so many different things. It's heckin' inspiring. Gotta clutter it up with more stuff? Hell yeah! Yeah, I, I'm also a fan of a well-organized clutter, shall we say. <laughs> and then and then can confirm. Um, oh, it would help if I spelt blender, right? There we go. And enabled. Alright, so... Nova Tech Shop, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, I need to, I really need to do some reorganizing though. Um, okay, so what I want to try first is get the like import process working. Um, so we got a cube. I've heard what you're supposed to do is delete the cube. And then you gotta add a cube. Okay, first step done. Now, delete the light and the camera. Rename this thing to Heckin... Uh, Heckin... Shape? <laughs> yes, that is the ritual? Hell yeah, I'm doing it right. Hi, Elden! Must be performed for correct blendering. Nice. Alright. So then I go to modeling? I think. And then I play with stuff. So like, let's put a, a thing. Wait. Uh, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Gotta select the face. And I gotta 
do this. This. That. This. Maybe one of these. Okay, now we have a silly shape. Uh, hi, Yugen. How's your day going? Uh, silly shape. And we need to add... Um... Don't want texture paint. Or... How do I add materials? Material. A uh, new material here. This. Um, if I put these color pink, um, a sign. No. Hmm. In the viewport shading mode right now? To switch to material preview. I see, I see. Uh, wait, this mode. Nice. I see. Purple. It is purple. I'm gonna make it. No, no. Let's see. Roughness? Metallic? No. Looks kind of purple. Hi, Pixar! Also, a whole tab up there with a workspace set up for material work. You don't switch to it without checking first without it on OBS. Wait, because by default it shows your home directory? Oh, that's okay. I've got. I'm pretty sure I've got nothing in there. <laughs> um, but let me check first. <laughs> Where is the library? Do I have a spray? I do. On the ceiling, the library is. Shading tab. Oh! Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Um. Chill vibes. List. Wait, not list. There we go. This one. Chill vibes. How has it already been three of them? Okay, we got a neat pink thing. Um. So I was before going to bed last night. I was kind of speed running tutorials. So I sort of have an idea. Of Maybe what I need to do? Um, gee, I recommend trying a plugin called uh, Pribab Base sometime. There's some options for you when you're texturing. If you like pixely assets, I do like pixely assets. That's actually, okay, sort of a. Uh, let's, let's go on an aside quick. Uh, this is the sort of look of an MMO that I want to make someday. This is just a test example. Um, but I want to make a game that kind of kind of looks like this with like pixels and you sort of just like um, this this is yeah, this is an old test. Um, but 
I want to make this kind of look. Uh, Bam base might be perfect. Nice. I am going to check that out then. FF1, but with a 3D perspective? That was the goal. And then I realized, like, I would never be able to share this with anyone and feel, like, okay to... Well, I could probably share it directly. But... Do you know about baking? I know about how to make cookies and stuff. <laughs> but... And breads. Um, but I'm assuming you meant, like, light baking? Or is it shadows baking? Um, I know how to sort of do that in Godot, and by that I mean I know how to click a button. I am, I am very new to anything 3D. Um, right, but I want to... Oh, there were some, there were some settings I was supposed to change in here. Any kind of complicated materials will have to be baked to textures for Godot to be able to pick it up after... So that's the thing! I think there's a way now... Uh... If I... Um... I think you can use dot .blend files in Godot now. I think. And it should just work with all that stuff. Or at least that's what it appeared to be. Uh, basically from those inputs, it will be a CF shader. This will be either a constant value or a texture directly. To be used in a, a dot blend one? Automates the can- Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Undo steps. Let's do 256. I remember that being one. Um. Okay. And then there was a thing that was about like packed, packed scenes or packed textures. Some blender automation if they do fancy. It doesn't actually understand. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. We'll see you use for 3D stuff. Ooh, nice. 3D bread. I should make a 3D bread. Still dealing with the limitations of GLTF, GLP. Gotcha. Option I'm looking for now is a way to pack materials um, so that so that maybe it's not in there. Let's just try. Save to uh, projects, chill vibes, jam. We'll call you Heckin Shape. And then if I did it right, um, there's no, there's no one in here. Baking joke is mandatory? Hell yeah. Hi, Retro Boy. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's in there. Maybe I do need to use Blender 3 and not Blender 4. You set up the Blender, uh, pay? Blender pay. Or did you mean Blender Path? Uh, thought I did. I'm 
should be here. Maybe I need to close and reopen the door. Let's see. Too big. Blender is too new for this importer. Oh no! <laughs> no. Well, that makes our decision easier. Let's get, let's get, um, no, streaming. What is the most recent version of Blender? That is three. Uh, Blender LTS, oh. That's, that's like actually what I want. I want LTS. Always LTS. Uh, later, Kiri. Hope your day goes well. Thanks again for the raid. Heckin' hearts. Uh. How? Oh. Damn. Hi, Evil Noah. How's your day going? Yes, there's a jam going on. It's an art jam. Um, I suppose I should have explained what even the jam is, huh? Um, so basically, here's my concept. Um, there's going to be three stages. The first stage is art assets. Everybody makes 2D art, 3D art, music, sound effects, all sorts of stuff. Um, and they submit them to the itch thing. Um, and then for the second phase, everybody works on making games. But the catch is, we can only use the art assets that everybody supplied. So we're all sharing the same art. Um, and the, for the third stage, we just play the games. There's no ranking, no voting. Everybody just has a chill time playing the games that each other made. Um, and the, the reason why I wanted it to be like this is for uh, artists who want to see, who, who, who maybe aren't that confident with programming and stuff, could see their art in a video game. And game designers who aren't that confident with art will have uh, art assets to draw from. Bad girls get backstage? All right, I will record that. Asset pool sounds so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, you can like, um, use them in creative ways too. Like, um, if you have, like for the, for one of the ones, I remember someone did like, um, some of the sound effects and voice lines that I recorded they use those as an indicator of whether or not like the next attack an enemy would do was going to be harsh or soft. Um, uh, hi Sharky, the Sharky Yemi. How's your day going? Um, let's see. I think that or good girls get pets. Aww. We're so amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm actually, that was actually one of the, I was actually kind of self-conscious of my voice for a bit because I just got over COVID. So I'm, my voice is still kind of raspy. The sleeves? <laughs> it's, it's pretty cold here. So I have to got sleeves. Um, these point redeems, all powers of two, hell yeah. How am I feeling? Better. Um, 
still not over it, but better. Um, we're, we're testing negative again, so that's good. But, yeah, it's gonna be... I hate my voice with a passion. Aww. Uh, well, for voice stuff, like, there's two main things I always recommend. The first one is to imagine your voice as a little ball of energy. Um, and normally, or maybe, that ball of energy is deep inside your chest, right? What you need to do is bring that ball up, 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 and into your mouth. And have that be the point of origin of that ball, of your voice. Um, that won't necessarily make you sound more feminine, but it will make you sound less masculine. The other trick or tip is hundreds and hundreds of hours of practice while you're recording yourself and listening to yourself. The listening to yourself being the key point, which is one of the main reasons I stream, actually. Uh, things are good. Pets in backstage. Aww. COVID sucks. Yeah, it really does. Hope you don't have any long COVID side effects. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's very comfy today. Thanks, Marion. Um, yeah, the last time I had COVID was like right when it kind of started. And it was like, I caught it, I swear, like the day before I was supposed to get the vaccine. Um, and I ended up having effects for like half a year. This time wasn't nearly as bad. So hopefully the effects won't last that long. Uh, oh, thanks for the follow, Emmy. Um, then scream Kamehameha. Yes. Um, I'll do it. Put in a thousand hours. Yes. That is literally... I... I wonder how much... <coughs> Sorry. I wonder how many hours I've put in. Uh, I actually have a way to tell. Uh, for streaming, I've done one... Hundred and what? Thirteen uh, hundred and forty hours. One thousand three hundred and forty. Lots and lots of hours. Um. That mass force to vindicate. Hell yeah. Uh, hi, Very. Do you know that being sick sucks? It does. It really does. Instant fall. Instant need this in my life. Oh, thanks, Emmy. More trans love. Hell yes. Um. Hang around. Yes. Nothing but trans love here. Been better. Been worse. Stuck in a limbo. Oh. It was indeed a cutie. No, you. No, all of you. All right. So I think I got. Blender. Let's let's get back to installing LTS Blender. Uh, except I'll do this off there. Scoop. We want to put here, apps, blender, new file, six. But, whoa! Yeah. Snipes! Snipes, thanks so much for the subs. Hey, yeah, uh, Ashy got one. And Neil. And Spitfire. Hell yes. Also, hi, cat. <laughs> thanks for the switch. you there. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see. 
Whoa! Thanks, Snipes. Uh huh. Hell yeah, cat got one. Cat's bullying Cam again. Oh my. I suppose someone's gotta do it. <laughs> Cam leaving. <laughs> cat, cat. I saw. I saw you were. I saw you were working on, on, the the nice art again. How how'd that go? How'd your stream go? Sorry, I wasn't there. I, I kind of just woke up. What the nice nice? Maybe maybe. It is looking really nice. I unfortunately can't show it on stream, but it is looking really nice. The nice, nice art. Yes. Okay. So let's go to... Um, here. And I closed the wrong thing. I wanted to close that one. Uh, unpin that. Browse for... Six. Confirm path. Uh, could shoot on stream and do van speedrun. <laughs> How's the Nova doing? Feeling better after the Rona? Uh, starting to. Voice is still rough. Still have a cough, and I think the sinus infection's back. But no, for the most part, I'm not doing too bad. Whoa! We got the heck in shape. It's in there. Nice. So the import works. Alright, now Blender 3.6. Ah, oh, it's so big. Gotta make you smaller. Wait, still way too big. <laughs> Listen, Enlin. It is big. There, okay. Uh, space bar. Like a pie mini. That seems better than play. Yeah, a cam had a um, a re debut of sorts, and it looks so heckin' rad, you all. Like, it is the most like. Oh, I I really like it. It's, it's definitely got Persona vibes. Whoa! Thanks for the gifted sub, Exia. Hell yeah. But yeah, yeah, Cam. Your, uh, your new setup looks so cool. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Delete the cube. Cube, and we're good. Crying and pissing now. <laughs> Hopefully, not the time. <laughs> yes. Hopefully. Um. Uh, let's see. Whoa, Yugen! Thanks for the bets, everybody. Seriously, thank you. Hype train. Listen, <laughs> thank you all so much. Whoa, thanks, Snipes. <laughs> my Nova's lap. Wait, wait, cat, don't pee on my lap. You're welcome on my lap, but don't pee there. <laughs> um, too late. Oh no, I need to get 
I need to get one of those waterproof blankies. <laughs> get got that cat pee? Oh no. Yes, waterproof blankies. Marking to oh my. Well in that case, maybe. Um What was I doing again? <laughs> So I think, um, what do I want to make first? I think let's make a desk. That seems pretty simple, right? Modeling. Okay. So, tools. What? Lane, thanks for the gifted subs. Oh my gosh. Aww. <laughs> Everybody is wearing fingerless gloves. <coughs> Snipes, what the hell? Snipes, thank you so much. Well, <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> it's never gonna stop. Hug long cat. <laughs> cat. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> cat, I I remember that. That was that was too much. Don't make more of a mess. Listen. <laughs> We're gonna buy all the soup in the area. Uh, I made, okay, I made such good turkey soup. The broth turned out so good this time. Um, is Snape is gonna do KT again? Uh, hi someone somewhere? How's your day going? Uh, maybe not sub two just to bug you? Oh my. I if you can answer one very simple question. Um, uh, use some soup now? Oh, sorry you're sick, Barry. Why oh, so cute? No, you. Um, also, I mean, hormone replacement therapy kind of helps a lot. Um, hi, souls. How's your day going? Soup? Test in the soup, hell yeah. Um, so now to make a desk. <laughs> Does that count as an answer? Yes, all of you are cute. Uh, thanks for the switch. The, the joke's on me? 
Oh my. Ah, uh, thanks for the seven. Now you can use the emotes. Going good, good to hear. Strange to hear the sunrise without it looping. <laughs> Whoa! Exia! Thanks for the resub! <laughs> God, I remember Kat with with Ashy and and we like first like, we were just listening to a bunch of Lonely Island stuff, and then we got- WHAT?! Snipes, thanks for the subs! Holy flip! Even 70? <laughs> thanks, Snipes! Seriously! But- but please, nobody- d please don't feel obligated. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. <laughs> um, now how do I move? Whoops. Like this. I'm doing that for fun? All right. But make sure that, you know, please don't, like, if it's, if it's money, I, uh. Do I just buy all the pizza? I am certainly going to buy some pizza with that. You can, you can rest assured. Also probably going to pay some bills. Which is... I'll, I'll use it on internet bill, which is directly supporting this in a way, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, pizza is life, pizza is love. Pizza is pretty damn good. Uh, I should make pizza. And then we have a bread maker. We could make pizza dough. This is within our power. Now on a pizza snipes. You should get a pizza. Uh, all right. Uh, layout. Wait. How do I move, rotate, scale? Scale cage? Scale. Um, select face. Well, that, that didn't do nearly what I expected. That's, um... <laughs> Is the layout where I go to scale? This is more like what I expected. <laughs> okay. Let's do... Uh, how big a desk do you want? Oh, we can set the things here. Ten and five. And then move you up. Five? Alright, good. Now scale in... Um... 
C direction. So that one. Uh, Smurfo sauce, then lick it off. Oh my. You mean end then? I mean, you know. She is pretty tasty. Cylinder. And then, how do I do the radius? Hi, Dry Banana. How's your day going? I train level 10? Holy flip. Thank you all so very much. Seriously, hearts. So she's tasteling? Yes! And then taste better with sour or garlic sauce? Mmm, I think sweet. Yeah. Uh. Whoa! Thanks for the bets! <laughs> Fuck the little man of a beastie! <laughs> Diary Goo is so fun. Oh, I haven't watched her in forever. No, I feel honestly very boring day so far. Aww. Well, I hope this can provide you with some entertainment. Um, okay. I wonder if there's like a radius thing. Those hearts? Which heart? The warm fuzzies? Those Undertale inspired? Um, uh, maybe. You know what? They could be. Uh, they were one of the first pixel art things that I made. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I do really like Undertale though. I've kind of been waiting Where for... Where is the library? Where is that library? I've kind of been waiting for Deltarune to like completely come out before I start on that one though. Uh, let's see. Serpent one. Serpent one. Mm, that's too small. Gonna make that so okay. Uh, I need to add a modifier. I want a mirror modifier. Uh, we want to do it in the was it Y and C? What are we building? I am trying to build a desk. I am also trying to learn Blender. Uh, hi, Ryan Wilcox. Um, been a long time since I touched Blender. It was the most comfy I've ever seen. Why is it so user unfriendly? I was watching people use it last night and they seemed to know exactly what they were doing. Someday I want to be able to do that. Edit mode? Where is it? You're watching people use it? I know, right? Hehehe. <laughs> Oops. Go down.
so there should be on the X and Y. Mirror objects cylinder. Maybe it doesn't want to. Hi, Violet. How's your day going? A lot of shortcuts in letter makes it fast to do stuff. There really is. Hi, Tanuki skin. Mint Splendor runs in old magic. Yes, it it really does. Uh, why doesn't it object use as mirror cube? Wait, is this like the thing that it's relative to? Also, it worked. Hell yeah. Um. Help this talk of blender and there's not a crazy stewy in sight. I know, right? Um just stopping him for I have to go? Oh wow. Well, I hope you have a good go wherever you're going. And thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Hi Violet. Hi Violet. Hmm. How do I get you to like Good. Yeah. Then if I like select the face, this face, and extrude. doing stuff with meatballs. My brain couldn't handle it. Oh my. Wait. Meta balls. Not meatballs. I was about to ask what meatballs were in this. Maybe I should make some meatballs. Um. Yeah, it looks so different now. It's been two major UI rewrites. Maybe? I... I remember... I remember, like, when 3 just came out, I gave it a try, and I couldn't figure it out. But now I'm sort of figuring it out. Maybe. Um... Let's go! Hell yeah! You guys still update to look like 90s? Yeah. A little bit, but at least it's got dark mode stuff. I started using Blender of the first major UI right? It stopped a little after the second. It'd be interesting to see like a, a documentary of the history of Blender. And you could see like its various iterations. Um, okay. So then, for the modifier, I apply, and then I select everything, and I think I can join it. Uh, join. And we'll rename you to desk. Um, straight. Uh, now, you and I have used very different 90 software. Glad I have another nickname to my hardy nickname. So many nicknames. That's the thing with nicknames, though. They just sort of spiral. Um, I 
Oh, that's so much. Just six independent names? Oh no! I... I have... a lot of Nova. Usually there's a Nova in there somewhere. Um... Alright, let's make a monitor to put on top of our desk. Uh... Let's add a cube. Wait. Cursor location. Okay, let's, whoops. Control Shift C, okay. Cursor location is there, then add cube. Are you a supernova? Because you're stellar. <laughs> and the shades. Nova Lumino. Yes. Still don't know which nickname I should change to. Hmm. Mm hmm. Speaking of the blender history timeline, I was just looking at it to check how many times you guys changed. Ooh. A whole bunch of times. Okay, so let's take this cube and scale it. Uh. Wait, how do I see the scale? Object. There we go. Okay. I want to move you here. Uh, just do my stuff with Nova in the background. Parasocial. Oh, no. Whoa, Fab. Hi, Fab. Thanks for the resub. How's your day going? Hi. Sometimes change my name for a bit, but just to see how it feels. Understandable. I pretty much chose my name when I was like nine and just sort of stick with Nova. And then from then on, it was just like, Nova with either stuff added to the end or the beginning. Nova Limino, Nova Anima, uh, Nova Dej, Nova whatever. What was, Kat, what was the one that you gave me, you gave me, was that, was I like gonna call myself like Nova, oh, it was, it was some, like some class in Wakfu, I was like, just like Nova class name. <laughs> I can't come up with names. Um, gonna hide me in my basement? Oh no! Oh, and then wants to go to the basement, huh? Scale 0.1. Wait, I keep forgetting I gotta do this. Uh, baseline. Yes. Modeling. Let's do. Oh, I have to select the face. There we go. Like this, and then extrude that. Uh, maybe more. Yeah, like this, maybe. Select Nova's face? My face! 
this face. Repectomies, those had names and are strong in exchanging them. All people seem more like just give me a new name. Meow. Huh. Nicknames and their origins are wild. Okay, so now I select these faces and apply a modifier subdivision. Where is subdivision modifier? That's that's not how I think. It made a heckin' spike. <laughs> my own yacht jump scared me, oh my. Hereby declare that you use the name Fujibutlitlock as your nickname, oh my. Quick the but not a name generator? Wait, is that where Enlin came from? Uh, and yeah. that's so cute, though. I'll subdivide your modifier. Oh my. Is backseat blender allowed? Yes. As long as it's not too excessive. Uh, this is... Might have made something fun. <laughs> Listen, this is not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I swear I'm not. <laughs> um, how do I? Is there a way to make Meow. these faces like, I guess, more rounded? Or a cylinder? Hydrate will do. I was, I was doing it right? Uh, proceeds to give advice relevant to Blender version 13 years ago. <laughs> oh, I see, Enlin. I was doing it right. Is that orange juice? It is orange juice mixed with water. Because orange juice is expensive and we're almost out of orange juice. Actually, I think we are out of orange juice. I think this is the last of the orange juice. It's cat pee. Cat pee is orange juice confirmed subdivision surface modifier seems like the way to go that's what i tried but it ended up doing the all of it P isn't that orange drunk worse oh my <laughs> are you british oh wait simple Uh, use limit surface boundary use creases we're gonna use crease oh my pasta water <laughs> pasta water on tap uh, press W and you can sub by the faces. Uh, I'm pressing W and it seems like it's switching select mode. Uh, 
oh gosh, I don't know what I did. <laughs> second <laughs> okay um that's not what I wanted so like soprano bad nova listen maybe but <laughs> I okay is it control w shit nope Nope, that's this again. That's... Why Why does that do that? What is that doing? Uh... Hmm... <coughs> Sorry. Still got pretty bad cough. Stewie! Yeah? Stewie, help. I am, I keep accidentally making things that are... Um... This. <laughs> Just never to have accidentally found a perfect order of hotkeys. <laughs> I'm, I'm both cursed and blessed with this. Accidentally? Like, normally... Normally, I would say, yeah, accidentally, but this time I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, that does give me an idea, though. If this does that, what even is this? Just a happy little... Hey, you know, it's just, just sort of... What are you? This is the strangest, like... What even tool is Shift W? Just touches things and they become, they become fun. It's definitely a thing. With a face and a nose. I was trying very hard, but she always ended up making what her brain desires most. <laughs> the happy bowl, yes, pretty much. Whoa! Hi, Alkonk! How's your day going? Thanks for the subscription. I have no idea what I'm doing, but yeah. welcome to the stream. <laughs> I see this year's Game Jam streams will be in <laughs> Don't mind me, just checking thing. Rub's feet. <laughs> About to ask, how's the blending? I... I'm learning. We made a desk, and now I'm trying to make a monitor. But it's, uh... It's going. So, toggle x-ray, select, add to selection, like this, alt c, ooh that would be helpful, never seen a monitor like that before, you haven't really lived yet or something. Um, speedy feet on overlay? Feet. Nova learns Blender. Blender also learns from Nova. Oh, gosh, I hope not. Making very sussy shapes on top of that desk. Listen, there's a time and place for sussy shapes on top of my desk. This is not the time. 
Um, I'm sure you could claim one of those as, as a business expense. <laughs> Depends on your business. Listen, my business, like I, I'm my own boss. So if I claim it as a business expense, then it is. Um, hologram monitor. Hi, Haru. How's your day going? Uh, I thought I should tell Blender that because I didn't get the memo. Oh my. Uh, how do I deselect? I guess I just click something else. Alright. So somewhere in here, there is... A knife. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put a knife on it, y'all. Yeah, we did we did the knife. Wait, that's too much knife. I just want a little knife. No, why are you why are you over there? Just like this much knife. No, how do I make it stick? What? Uh, no. Knife? Come on. Wait, I can use this. Uh, Nice, I did it. Okay. Just a little bit. We're getting there. Uh. Whoa, missed some chat. Pretty sure this is an aspen. You can tell it's an Aspen by the way it is. Oh, I missed that show. Aspen, oh my. Shift click. Oh no, I think I'm to add or move from selection. Knife is K. I see, I see. Yeah, I should pay attention to the hotkeys. Cat's been a silly monkey, oh no. Bake bread? Yes. I really should bake some bread. Okay, so then... Uh, can I bevel... Wait, I want to bevel... Is there a way to bevel all the sides? A knife? What kind of monitor is this? Listen, sometimes you have to cut your monitor from the very earth. No, I'm sorry. I have an amazing item for you to pitch sale. Oh my. I just looked. Oh my god, cat. One three seven nine to foot. One or oh on the numpad. Oh thanks. Control B What's control B? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, wooden monitor need to carve in shape. Exactly. It's Freb's fault. I'm going to blame Freb. Bevel? 
Oh, just to select bevel. But is there a way for the bevel? Because it looks like it's just coming from those sides, but can it come from the top and bottom too? Um, not that I really necessarily need that to actually happen. But, you know, Control-B does the bevel without having selected the tool. Yep. That much I think I get. Loop. Cut. Do I want that? I don't know if I want loop. Do it off by default. Try selecting the edges and doing the bevel. Control R for loop cut. Gotcha, gotcha. Select edges. Oops, select. And bevel. Doesn't want to. Bevel. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, neat. Oh, hell yeah. This might actually be what I want for other stuff. Vertices? No. Does this have a scale? Potentially? It could. Um, do I have to go to layout mode? And then select it? and apply scale. Is there an apply scale? On the right? Yeah. F3. Scale. Apply. Object apply scale. Bevel was squished, huh? Oh my. Squished bevels. Uh, wait. Why can't I select anything? There we go. to switch in and out of it. 
Hey! Nice. Uh, hi, Xenon. I am making a, a desk with a monitor on it. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to learn Blender. Just a little bit of bevel. Actually, on this part, I feel like nobody's going to see a desk with a blender in it. Yes. Bake a cake? I really should. I've been thinking about baking just like a classic chocolate cake. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Hi, Adam. How goes the blending? I am slowly learning how to do it. Add a cube. We're gonna stick this cube onto this part. Love to numb on a cake? Maybe. Maybe. You, you have to go easy on your tummy for a bit, though. Uh, well, process only just got into doing UVs and it's a nightmare. Oh my. I've only just got into making simple shapes. <laughs> Speaking of cake, I'm working on a small visual novel about a guy who wants to bake cake. Nice. Hell yeah. Wait. Did this? Oh. The cube's in there. So do I have to scale you here? Oh, okay. I got it. Whoops. I didn't want to Oh dear, what about you? Move. Gee. No. Why is. Gee. Gee's grabbing. But what I really want is this. Okay, I don't want it to stick to my cursor. Recommend, uh, Sakratote? Verictor was recommending that as well. Writing it in C++? Nice! Extremely happy they're running the jam again this year. Looking forward to it. Aww! Nice. Yeah, I want to do it every year. This one is almost edge. Need to veg super EP. Oh, thanks, Snapster. Thanks again for heckin', was it 70 gifted subs? Seriously, hearts, you sleep well, okay? After pressing it, you can press an axis to transform it on that axis. Okay. So if I press G, if I press G, axis Y? Oh, neat! Where did it go? Like this. G. Y. Smooch. Enter. Nice. And X, Y, or Z. It's super handy and use it a ton. Good. I need to get used to that then. Okay, scale S X Oh, nice. Scale Z
Nice scale. X. Good, good. Also make the increments you move scale rotate things more precise by holding. Yeah, I saw the 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 shift one before. Make my own C80 base computer. Nice, nice. Also select a plane instead of single axis. Select a plane plus axis for Oh, if you wanted to move relative to a plane, like if you had a curved one or, 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 or a shifted one. I see. So then I want to select this face and inset by a little bit and then scoop you in a little bit. Control plus Y will scale on X, C axis, but not Y. Uh, let's see. S, Control Y. I mean, that's sufficiently cursed, but. I think I see what you mean. Planning up the video modes? Gotcha, gotcha. By the way, Nova, you played your game Claw Machine on stream the other day? Aw, hell yes. I'm, I'm happy you played it and I'm happy it didn't crash. Not a computer to get check. Might be shift. S, shift, Y? Oh, I see. Then you get the lines to show you. Oh, God. Ooh. Uh, FPS went down in one level. So the FPS, I think a lot of it is because I was trying to load in a bunch of audio files at once. Um, and for some reason that causes the FPS to just go yikes. Uh, hi, Mega Joker. It's Nova's fault. Nova, why didn't you tell me you were alive? I, I did yesterday say I was going to be live. Type in access twice, you get the local access. Oh, if it's been rotated relative to a parent or something? So much stuff spawning? Yep. It is not an optimized game. Uh, see, ties move along face normal. Uh, S, C, Z. Well, probably doesn't matter for this one or this thing that I have selected taco eve <laughs> taco tuesday eve <coughs> sorry <clears throat> sat down with some noms what noms do you have macaroni Oh, he never wraps, so oh my. Okay, the model turned out well. Hell yes. What blender version? 3.6.5. Might be using the comma. The co like 
S C comma Z I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for there but I'll keep it in mind that you can scale stuff in a, a bunch of different ways um, Press column for changing the scale, it should come up with a wheel. Try on moving. Uh, move as G. C, Z. Wait, but that reminds me. I did want to try this. If I select this edge, can I do... Whoops, no. Uh, Z. No. G. Uh, X. No. G, Z. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to do this. Oh gosh. Yeah, that actually worked pretty well. Let's take Kunai in the strong server. Nice. Hey, that looks pretty neat. Uh... Hi, Akifi. How's your day going? Alright, let's see. If I go... See... How do I switch... Alt C. And then select all of this. Wait, I'm still doing edge selection. I think I want face. All of this. And then if I move. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I wanted. GG. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I think that's I think that's good for a monitor. Army grows, you've been drafted. What army? The guns? Alright, now should we make a keyboard? Well, a keyboard's pretty much just a square. Oh, we should rename you to Monitor. Uh, a little bit exhausting, but I'm fine. How's your day so far? Well, I woke up and then I ate some cereal with yogurt, fruit, and cranberry sauce. And then I started streaming. Oh, I think I also took a shower. So that's been my day. Make a keyboard. Do who can help you? Oh my. Uh, big box screenshot hand cam. Put it on as a texture. Yes. I think so, maybe. Nova showers? I. Uh, yes? Should I not? Um, all right, 
let's go tab. Wait, tab? Do you have to plug your ports for safety? No. No, they're fine. Everything is waterproof. This occasionally happens. Listen, and then it happens just the right amount. Uh, readings from Roja? Nice! Oh, I hope Roja's having an amazing time over there. Hi, Roja! Hi, hearts to all of you over there. Let's add a cube. Okay, let's, uh, move. Nope. Okay, I have to get used to this. G-Y. And then let's do a uh, scale is S, scale Z. This, there, no, this, there we go. Then, uh, G, C, hold shift for precise, and we'll put it right there. Uh, G, C, one, well, I don't want the things to be touching on the same plane. Uh, yeah. Hydrate or yes. Um, where is the library? Where is that library? Uh, can you tell us about the VTuber setup? I thought I had a command for that. Uh, Avatar used Beeple Box. Everything else is custom. Beeple Box plus VC Face. And it was made in um, uh, V-Red Studio. Um, custom made in Godot. The music thing. Yeah, the music thing is just uh, audacious. Just a, a very simple music player. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I don't think I do have one for my setup. Well, I've got all the information in the Discord server if you wanted to take a look. Now for this object, I want to scale Meow. in the X, wait, not the X, scale in the Y, like this, and then scale in the Z, wait, I did want to scale in the X. Appropriately keyboard sized. Uh, do you have the music loca? Local. Yes, I do have the music locally. Where is the library? Probably just a 30 minute walk away. The library. The one that I would go to, 
It's probably a 15 minute walk away. I think. Little ball in the top right tells you where the axes are. Yeah, I just, I was, I was being a potato for a bit. Not too far, should go back sometime? We really should. It's a pretty fun library. We should go when, when the coffee shop is open next time. Um, I'm like trying to gauge the the size. It looks about right, right. Keyboard, cubby board. <laughs> All right, this would be a good test in material. Or a good learning experience. Yes, please. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks for the alert, Crazy Stewie. Okay. Let's get a screenshot of my keyboard. Kind of center it. It's going to be kind of potato, but that's fine. Oh, wait. How do I get a screenshot of it with, without touching it? That's the trick, right? Hmm. Because I have to press this button to take a screenshot. I wonder if there's like a screenshot delay function. I'm using green shot. Time screenshots? Snipping tool, set it on a timer. Uh, I mean, I just wanted to say hi because I saw you online. Let's try to have a nice day and keep being cozy. Aw, oh, thank you. I hope you have a cozy day too. an interesting problem that may require a good hack and by good hack I mean I'm just gonna take a picture with my phone everyone against snipping tool because I got used to using green shot and then I just kept using it that's I mean I don't know the one that just used their f listen listen it's a it's a known solution that works okay just take a picture straight from the hand cam with just the mouse i i i bet i could have done that actually problem is I don't want to open up camera, the, the camera app on stream 
in case it does face stuff. Um, cause like I have not prepared anything. My face is yikes. <laughs> Afraid of turning into a flesh tree. Listen. You, if you want to see my face, there are pictures of me on the Discord server. You're all welcome to check out what I look like. But but not not after I had just showered and woke up. Uh, flashy existence is unnecessary? No. Exposing those circuits? Oh my. Can an android become a flesh tuber? Oh dear. Heading to sleep? Oh, I hope you sleep well, Haru. Let's see. Um... Where do I want to? Mm. Only one mouth and three days left for the art jam portion. Yeah, one month. We got plenty of time. Don't worry. Problem at all. Uh, hmm. I wonder if there's a way to do new from clipboard. Create new from clipboard. pretty well. Okay, so I want to do a little bit of manipulation to the keyboard to get it uh, morphed a bit. in the final alignment? Uh, UV as a verb is... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where is the library? Um, learn Nova Alert. Basically, you can make the UVs match the edges of the actual. Oh! So, I don't need. So, this is all I need then. Am I hearing the washer? Not the washer. <laughs> 30 minutes away from where I live, walking speed? Oh, you're still talking about the library? Nice. Nice, nice.
So we'll save you as... Uh, projects, Chill Vibes GM3, PNG, um, we'll call you Keeb Texture. So then, UV editing. Call you a cube maker? Nice. Uh, open. Open what? Projects, chill vibes, jam, key texture. Gotta be in edit mode. All right, so. You can use seven. Oh. Seven? You like seven, huh? Uh, how do I move you? Nova RGB Limino RGB Mino? Yes. Uh, hmm. Move? Oh, there we go. You can press control U. Yeah. Hey, it's an ending. Yeah. Control U. First, select only the top face. Select face. Control U. That was that was you from a while ago. Aw, and then maybe just you? You. Is it unwrap? Need an updated yes please. And then yes please. I liked it. But your 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 current meows are way cuter. Unwrap. You unwrap. Uh, no. no. Wait. What's the mode that I can see you in? Move the corners to match. that spacebar is how I um, pan, but uh, hi Hex, you can change the view mode to texture on the right side, little balls top right. Ooh. 
viewport shading, viewport shading, material preview rendered, the right most down arrow. Do I want texture? Is that it? Stop breaking things. I can't help it. that keep how do I reset you need a texture node well I gotta get these corners first but it keeps ah it keeps like putting the cursor around This is just one of those things that I gotta get used to. Like panning is different now. You in cursing mode? Yep. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why it kept switching to cursor mode. Uh, hi Titan Seeker! How's your day going now in 3D? I'm trying! Um, how's your day going, Titan? Okay. Now you need a texture No, Go into shading. Uh... So excited to hear. Aw, thanks. Now in any material. Uh, freezes at the word material. Hmm. Is there a way I can make this default to the projects folder? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually let's let's go to that real quick. Uh, system. Where is override? No, that's video sequencer. Pads. Uh, from as well, I can't talk much because work. Understandable. Glad to see 3D. Ah, thanks. Well, I'm gonna try to do some. So, like the first uh, Chill Vibes gem was pixel art. The second one I tried to do just like regular digital art. Now I'm trying to do 3D art. Who knows what I'll do next jam? Uh, path. Forty art. Hell yes. Um, 
section. Path to a directory with blend files to use as an asset library. Projects, chill vibes jam, here. Whatever. Keyboard texture. Okay, make one by clicking new. Uh, at the top of the bottom. This one or big new button. This one. Oh dear. This part. I remember seeing people do this stuff. <laughs> okay now. Yep. Very big. Okay now. So I need to Add an image texture node. Uh, image texture. Plop. Open keyboard texture. And then I'm assuming I select this and I put it Wait, select the texture, select the node. Select the texture, doing to like shift select, both of them. Select the node that has the texture, this one. This should work. Go back to the UV editing view. Hey, it's different. Whoops, ah, no. Ah, no. What have I done? Uh, okay. Wait, how come this isn't pan anymore? Middle mouse. Rotated 90 degrees. It certainly looks that way. I need to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And only apply it to the top face. Select the face under modeling. It's UV show up. And then edit on the left. Wish I knew Blender Select help Nova. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm kinda just playing. So we've got this rotate. That didn't do anything. Left, you can press A to select it all. Well, that certainly rotated, but that's not really what I want. R plus ninety. Uh. 
Hey, Amari. How's your day going? For our job? I guess these are actually, like, straight out of that. Yeah, they, they are. <laughs> I, I told y'all I had these exact gloves. Probably have to redo the UV. UV is rotated and scaled incorrectly. The long sides of the rectangle. Currently the short edges. Just do I have to make the image different? Uh slightly simpler way. Get base UV to edit further on the right. Rotate the UV 90 and reposition the vertices. Press U. Oh, project from view? Maybe? How do I... okay. Oops. How do I look from here? No, what? How do I pan? <laughs> How do I pan the camera? Well, I guess I can click that thing. Move the camera, but won't that be upside down then? Backwards now? Yeah, it's backwards. How do I... Press one, nine, seven? What are you trying to do? On this side, rotate the camera such that it's the keyboard one and nine and eight a few times oh interesting Why does that rotate? we go, I think. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, so now, um, how do I make it so that it's not on the sides, though? suppose for for this I should have had in this image I should have had like black regions or something do the side separate Wait, 
Let's do... Oh! Hi, Dragon Spirit. Thanks for the raid. Let's see what you are up to. Uh, whoops. Software and game dev, nice. What game were you working on? Gotta leave for a bit. It's Titan time. All right, Stewie. I hope you have good uh, wherever you're off to. And thanks for all the help. Um, can you make the sides to material change? Yeah, I think what I'll do is just use like this little little bit here. You're not gonna pay attention to the sides. Nobody will know. It'll just be a secret between all of us. It'll be fine. Uh, I was working on Gaia. Came about my daughter in Greek mythology. Oh, 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 oh! I I remember you talking about that actually before. That seemed really interesting. Uh, feel free to link, um, like if you have any screenshots or a, a, web, a website about the game or whatever. Everyone will know? Oh no. They might know. They won't know. Couldn't possibly. See, that looks fine. Nobody cares. <laughs> Except, except those of us who do care, and it'll forever haunt them. And then... You come over here. Why is the cursor all tip-sided? Um, nothing much really. Working on prototyping. Did which day stick different cameras in the game? Do you have different zoom levels? Ooh, nice, nice. I hope it's going well. Thank you so much for the raid. really interesting like trying to think about um how to make games accessible for those with like um vision or hearing impairments uh, and then do i want to do a bottom face How do I even view the bottom? Uh, hi, Credibero. Um, yes, this is for a jam that I'm hosting. So, we'll need some money for sure in the end because we will not work for free. Understandable. Getting rid of your hand cam for something virtual? Wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's for the jam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> game jammer. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm hosting a game jam and here's kind of how it works. Um, there's three different stages. The first stage is an art jam where people make 2D art, 3D art, sound effects, music, voice lines, you know, whatever. Um, and then they submit them to the itch page that was linked. Um, and then in the second phase, people make a game, uh, but the catch is we all have to use 
we can only use the art assets that everybody submitted. Um, and the art jam uh, has, it's like going over two months and then I'm pretty sure the game jam portion is also going to be like two months. So there's no rush whatsoever. Everything's supposed to be chill vibes. Um, and the third phase um, is where we all play the games. Um, but there's no voting, no ranking. Um, everybody just plays each other's games. Um, and if you're a streamer, I highly encourage you to stream playing other people's games. Because it's really fun to see other streamers play your game. Um, if you stream, you're encouraged to play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trinity Style Jam, we'll have to try it out. You are more than welcome to. Uh, anyone here who wants to contribute anything, please feel free. But no pressure either. Uh, might just join? Nice, nice. Yeah, there's no pressure. There's a long time. Is there a theme? Not really, but if you want a theme, chill vibes. Um, yeah, you all should join if you want to. Let's see. Hydrate well. will do. All right. Now, if I remember right, there was a way to see yeah. only this object. Oh, that works. All right, let's get the underside too. It is a Fred Meow. Just composed track for a music jam. Theme was cozy space. Hell yeah. Seven followers away from 250 gold. Nice, nice. Hell yes. Take another follow. Six followers away. Um, there, there. 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 <laughs> Thanks for the head pack. Wait a sec. This cursor got put out there. How do I... I need to figure out how to reset this cursor. Um... Cursor to center? Wait, maybe I need to be in modeling view? Uh, no. Wait, online manual? That's for the entire toolbar. your own keyboard? Yes. Uh, reset cursor to center. Shift S, then cursor to center. Cursor Wait. 
do I need to shift S no cursor to active no snap wait uh, cursor to grid no cursor to selected there we go I think that worked Let us never move that again. <laughs> All right, so now we've got a desk and a monitor. Let's do, we should do the wood grain of my desk, right? That seems like a thing we should do for a texture. <gasps> kind of dusty. Cursor position doesn't really matter unless you're doing stuff like in the origin. No mouse. Oh, you're right. I should do a mouse, huh? Does, I'm worried though that when I import it into Godot, um, that it will change the, the origin that it uses. Origin is the tiny orange dot. Other programs do not know what cursor is. Oh, well, if Godot doesn't know about it, then I guess it doesn't matter. Still, though, it's helpful to know. Um, all right, let's go back into layout. I wonder... Color... Hey, nice. So then let's add cube and G X. Good to learn, but also good to not try to learn everything at once. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely like like that's why I marked this as part one. It's gonna take me quite a few streams to start getting the hang of this. Gosh, it's shift middle mouse. That's how I pan. Uh, like panning, panning is really important for me, at least, to get kind of an idea what I'm thinking about. G C. <coughs> Sorry to apply scale. Oh, I think I might have forgot on this one. How did I do that again? Addicted to learning? Hell yes. Um, it was object apply scale. So let's actually turn off all that. Well, 
want the keyboard on so I know the relative size of the thing because we want it to be right around the same size as like a mouse would be. So let's do, got a ruler. I could use that. I've got, I got this thing. I've got some tape. I could use this if I want, if I want to get really specific about it. But I think for this, I'm going to go by just sort of a feel. Um, so let's do... Doesn't want to get any smaller. Oh gosh, what did I do? No! <laughs> that looks good enough. Okay. A ball it with keys from keyboard. Exactly. It looks to be about this many. Giga mouse. Such mouse. All right. Let's do viewers you're always very ah thanks dragon spirit i hope you have a good rest and thanks again for the raid. Uh, 
Oh god, where where are we rotating around? Is it F? No. Huh. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks, Imari. Perfect. Gotta remember that. Don't have a numpad? I, I was running without one for a while, but then I decided I needed one again, so I brought back this keyboard. I'm pretty sure some of the buttons are wearing out on this keyboard, though. Like, I think, I think left control isn't working anymore. Or it is, but don't, like, it's working like 95% of the time. But I use it often enough that, like, you know, like 1 out of 20 times it critical misses. Uh... Nope, I just want it on the top. And then for bevel, more segments. Okay, that is eventually what we want to do. But... You know, if I move one hand to be in line with, this, with the enter and shift key, Now move your other hand between the num and F keys. What? Got a keyboard where keys stick out instead of sitting in groups. I mean, as simple as doing some pressed air in between the keys. Nice. Nice, nice. Right, what happens if I bevel the... And then if I do more segments. Yeah, that's kind of looking mouse shaped, right? Or like a bar of soap. to numpad numbers above using your hand as a horizontal divider the numbers of again your other hand a vertical separator wait you wanted me to go like this like this utterly destroy the cherry blue switch for the control key my but ergonomics infinity. Stim is all wobbly. Aww. Solder and a replacement. I admittedly have never soldered anything. Uh, hydrate? Will do. Thanks, Hex. Thanks for the follow, Incredibro. I hope you enjoy it here. Let's see. Yeah. 
This is kind of looking like a mouse. I think so. Wait a sec. Maybe if we deselect that one and bevel it. Yeah, that's actually more mouse-ish. Cause this part, the part that rests in your in your palm, is going to be more rounded. I think. Okay, so now uh, it's getting you to put your hands here. Your keyboard's so much bigger than mine. You want me to put my hands, oh, like, like this? To like measure it? Or like, like this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm honestly confused. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna try some trickier stuff. Those ones. Whoop. And then move them up. I think. And then how do I flashbacks to soldering? I, uh, one of these days I need to learn how to solder stuff. Alright, let's toggle this. Select vertices. Get all of those. 
and then face fill did it did it fill it with a face it it does This is kind of strange, but I suppose they all have to be triangles, right? So it makes sense. Smaller than a grain of rice? Oh, yikes. A silver SMT diode than a bulk grittery? Oh my. Triangles, yep. I do the model in quads and then export in tries. Uh, you can do select the bottom loop and F for fill. Oh, nice. Quads are easier to work with than tries. I will take your word for it because I haven't used either. Uh, we're saying like modeling in quads and then converting to tries to know close to done. Not the best way to fill it, but since this is simple beginner work, hell yeah! All for simple. I like it. So this is kind of, kind of mouse shaped. More or less, right? Good enough. For some organic shapes, start with tries. I see, I see. Modeling for game engine stuff, they usually would always do the conversion of quad tries for themselves. Do it in quad. Yeah, I've, oh gosh, my stomach's grumbling. Sorry. Um, I've heard a lot of people say to use quads instead. Flashbacks to the trauma of touching Apple Magic Mouse. It. I really like my mice to have these side buttons. Um. And not having them on that mouse always wasn't fun. Um, whenever I had to like troubleshoot something on someone's Mac. Um, 12 side buttons? I don't know if I could... I think three side buttons is probably my limit. 
two, two is comfy enough for me. Um, I really like this mouse because it's like super light. Um, like it, it hardly, hardly feels like you're moving anything. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. The mouse. Let's do... This, and... We go to... Is it UV editing? Or... Old Mac Mice used to have this little ball. Yeah, that little ball. It, it, honestly, it was kind of fun. I, I liked that little feel, but it, it wasn't fun to use. Like a mouse that fills in my hand. So it's been the Logitech MX518. Oh, I feel like I might have had that before. I gotta look it up. I gotta know. Oh, maybe I haven't had that one. Thumb track ball. Help produce some hand strain. Oh no, sorry you had hand strain. I'm considering a finger track ball. Track ball uses massive and the ball is around four centimeters. Oh my. Probably uh, change canvas size. Like this. Uh, I should play FPS with it. Oh my. Never the full snapshot. Yes, for the mouse, but I can actually snapshots, like screenshots, or all right, save as ng. Uh, 
how do I see it applied? Oh, I need to go to... Uh, not there. Uh, welcome back, Reese Stewie. I think I've almost got a mouse, too. Is how it's going. Um, but I need to do the step where... Where I get a texture on it. Instead of doing the texture preview thing, go into shading. Oh, right, right, right. That's what we needed. Uh, new material for the mouse. Color output node into the base color. Ooh, nice. How come we didn't do that with the other one? Was a texture preview mode? Do we not want to do that with this one? Is doing it. Wait, that's for the mouse. Color, piece color. Nice. Uh, wait. Where did all my UVs go? Oh, here we go. You can rename this one as well. Uh, key map.
this right about there. So now I got to get all the sides uh, I want to select faces. You can invert the selection to select everything else. Oh, wait. Oh, you're right, I am in vertex selection mode. Uh, this. Select invert. Uh, Alt plus selecting one face should select all the faces around the edge. I will set the keyboard. This is the, oh, I did select. There, disappear, you go back to object mode. The tab's not working. Oh, here we go. Is there a way to select only the mouse? Yep. So then you were saying edit mode, alt select the faces. Oh, it's going in that direction. still do a thing. Yeah, I can go like this and then like that. Whoops. Oh, right. Shift here wait this scale and move maybe 
you over here. There. That looks about right. Or rather, it looks good enough. Also shade smooth, shade auto smooth. In here, in object mode. In object mode in... <laughs> Thanks for the head pats. Aww. Hearts and then... Any of them? Click the mouse. Shade smooth. Doesn't look like it did anything. Oh, in object mode. The uh, hydrate will do. Keyboard. Shade smooth. Looks kind of glossy now. Oh no. It's bubbly keyboard. some sleep. All right, Hex, I hope you sleep well. Yeah. Floss gloss, turn up the roughness in the material. This means no reflection. Maybe we want a little reflection. Just a little. Oops, what did I do? Since the keyboard's just a box, you probably want it smooth, flat. Like, no reflection. Does smooth, flat, is that words to describe re reflection? Right click, shade, flat. Oh! I see, I see. Describes how the edges look. I'm gonna need to learn about all of that. Alright, now let's get materials for the desk.
shade flat, shade smooth. I oh in object mode, sorry. Oh you can kinda see that the edges. I see what you're talking about. Oh interesting. Will this, will this shading translate to what we see in Godot? It will? Nice. Then I definitely want to pay attention to that. Also, something I can do that might be if I go to modeling for the keyboard, select in edit mode, vertices, this one, this one, move down a bit because that's because that's how keyboards kind of are kind of angled like this oh thanks for the follow i hope you enjoy it here First was setting the normal V to vertex. Ooh, nice. So for flatter surfaces, shade flat. Smooth surfaces, shade smooth. Gotcha, gotcha. Direction says the vertex spoon. This is a great moment to try the edge slide. Try pressing G twice. Um. What have I done? G, G. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Grab and glide along edge. I see. Scale on my axis. Oh. Uh, thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy it here. Very useful to tweak shapes and stuff. Nice. And <laughs> thanks for the follow to you as well, Zipper. Hope you enjoy it here. Okay. I think that looks good. Now let's get the desk. Um. How do I want to do this? I guess let's just take a picture again. It's probably not going to look quite right, but it's fine. Turn on this other. Or maybe I should have had no lights. That's a more even. Which broke the redeem? Thought the stream froze? 
Oh no, what happened? Is everything okay? Or was it just because my avatar? I think they're still... Hey, look at that sausage cat. I think they're still working. Oh, that's because I was walking around my room um, turning on and off lights and stuff. Trying to get, trying to get a picture of my desk's pattern. Uh, another thing that's simple for texturing large surfaces is PBRs, procedurally based render, physically based rendering. We'll see about do the textures contain how that is maybe an advanced topic for someday in the future. For now, I'm going to try to keep doing the techniques that, that you all taught me earlier, just so that I remember them. Um, so for the desk, let's get those out of there. We go shading desk new uh wait i need to open this copy image right from clipboard rotate clockwise Hey, it's Ragnarok Online. Nice. Let's try to get a section of desk that is fairly uniform in shadow. That's good enough. Simple wood floor, but you already might find one for you or quick. Uh, for learning, always remember you want to kiss. Uh, keep it simple, stupid, right? Um, no, I think... Uh, I think for... I... I um, I could look up one. But I'm trying to sort of keep, keep it to like, for this at least, for this jam, keep it to stuff that like, I mean, I guess I didn't really create the keyboard, but I kind of created the photo for it. So I don't know, whatever. Uh, save as. Desk texture. All right, let's add a texture, image texture. Open desk texture color. Color. Keyboard would be hard to PPR? Yeah. Not really? What's not really? Made it yourself? Just use reference? It's come for us to take photos and use them? Every box in half is just a cube with a real photo slapped on? Exactly. Not really hard to PPR? Well, So what, what, what is it? <laughs> I 
Um, let's see. I'm gonna. I wonder how it's doing. Desk. Why is this still up? Is the mouse still there? Let's see. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. But I'd still like to be able to see how it sort of did it. Want to apply it to a flat face you don't have a keyboard model ready? Um, isn't it supposed to switch over here? I realized that a keyboard layout is incredibly standardized, it's actually quite simple. Oops. Keyboard. What the? Uh, thanks for the lurk, Kimari. I hope you, I hope whatever you're off to lurk goes well. Thanks for the head pads. Um, select face. What? You are clearly not this one. You are this. Oh, do you just select from here? How do I make you active? Uh, hi, Yugen. How's your day going? Welcome back. And thank you. Thanks for the follow, things out. Hope you enjoy it here. Easy way to get a realistic one is to model the things so you can model a base key, just a cube. Oh, are you saying like, is this the process by which you model like a key and then you duplicate it and make a whole bunch of them? Is the art portion to uh nope? Nope, you still- there's still a whole other month left. Uh... The jam goes until the end of December. Pretty girl goes for the number. Uh... They do kind of shift a little, yeah. So, desk. 
select base Why are you not going back to edit mode? There! Okay. It worked this time. Honestly, for the sides, let's see, I could uh, select all of them. portion and for underneath let's do the same there Goodness, I wasn't sure if the code portion is next month or... Okay, so the code portion is going to start in December. So there's going to be a month where the art portion and the code portion overlap. So that people can work on both at the same time, sort of. Like if people decide, like... Um, like, they're working on their game and they're like, Oh, I really wish I could make this asset. Well, now they can. Um, and then the jam, like the, the game dev portion is going to last from the start of December to the end of January, I think. I think. Yep, yep, no problem. is really fun. Hell yeah, it's the Ragnarok Online uh, soundtrack. Uh, so I think the desk textures are done. Let's do roughness. Maybe, a, maybe not all the way. Good. Now we just gotta get MMO looks cute as heck. Yugen! 
next time, I don't know if we're going to play it again, but next time you should play with us. Um, Fred Benman and I played a little bit, was it earlier this year? But yeah, it was super fun. Okay, so now for the monitor. New material. Uh, what call you? Oh, I should rename this. Desk map. So for these materials, I think I might just want to use color. Uh, a scene that looks like this? Hell yeah! I feel like I feel like rendering your your. Whoa! Ah, uh, thanks for the resub, do who? 20 months? Holy flip. Dude, it's almost been two years. Time has just gone heckin' zoom. All the excitement and chaos, hell yeah. Um, or do I want to? Maybe I actually want to use the mouse texture again. So then if we go in here for the monitor, oh, and now it's doing this again. Uh, let's see. Thanks to you. Um, whoa! Thanks for the gifted sub to Stewie, you do. Aw, thanks. I just took all the papers on my desk and uncrumpled them, took pictures of them, and recrumpled them. Did you leave a place on my fake desk? Nice. Aw, oh, that means I'm gonna have to get my long cat, Stu. Sure, Stu, you can link. Also, make sure that things are scaled to a real scale. It makes things work better. I admittedly kind of just did this by feel. 
I'm probably like, I might like after the jam actually try to do my room. Kind of like how Kiri did it. Um, but this is just like mostly to learn the tools and stuff. Um, yeah, no, Crazy Stew could for sure link stuff. UV editing. So for this, oops. Let's move you here. You here. this face again. This one I might actually want to do like darker somehow. Yeah, let's do Object shade flat for the desk. Wait, an object mode shade flat. my desk. I mean, this, that's not how my desk legs are, but modeling my actual desk legs might be a little tricky. desk, y'all. Yeah. 
it's just in Godot now. Is this for something in specific? It is. It's for the jam. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. All right. We. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks, Lane. So then I wonder... Can I just like... Do that? Nice! I may want to edit some stuff. Like I might want to make this darker. And I might not actually want to have the um the monitor like you've seen the the zoomed in portion of the mouse like I might just actually want to use like like um Is there a way to apply different materials to different faces on the same? Or do you have to use just one texture? That is stuff to research, I think. I'm gonna watch a bunch more tutorials. Make multiple materials on the same thing? Nice. if Godot supports multiple textures materials like that. Uh, yeah. It would be for the monitor. Like, I want the screen to be darker than the rest of it. So the rest of it... Edit mode? Edit mode under texture paint? Or UV editing, shading. Okay, in edit mode. Presets of organizations. Gotcha, gotcha. Go to material. It assigns it to the face. Um, <laughs> thanks to who? Oh, I gotcha. And then in here, if I go to select invert new material. Oh, 
monitor material or monitor body base color oops yeah let's actually make it a little Base color almost black. Did it not update? Well, up here is separate surface inside the mesh. Oh, preview mode. Texture, material. Oh, wait, on the third wall. Oh, nice. to remove in edit mode. Uh, whoa, I missed some stuff. One before that one, do some extra stuff. I see. Extra blind today, just had my eyes tallied for a dye study. Oh my. Well, I hope your eyes are doing okay. to remove material slot in edit mode. Oh, is it because it's still using it here? Because you're in edit mode? Don't you need to assign them in edit mode or object mode? Oh, okay. Can't delete in edit mode? Gotcha, gotcha. Is this, this, this stuff the same as, hold on. I did this there. It is the same there. I see. Okay. Material a bit darker. Actually, maybe even darker. Oh, wait, you can enter a hex value? Hell yeah. Okay. Is this the RO soundtrack? It is indeed, Fab. Hell yeah. Make 
the screen gloss by reducing the roughness? Yes. I reduced it by a decent amount. Oh, but maybe I want it even more. Yeah, that's kind of good. No, that's too much. Yeah, there we go. My monitor, yeah, my monitors aren't, well, I guess this one kind of is, a little bit. Uh, wait, let's see, let's see what hex Stewie wanted. I'm guessing that's green. is a perfect mirror oh no yeah the glare always gets kind of yikes Yeah, it's updated here. Oh, nice. Hell yes. Now that I think of it, though, I probably could have gotten this to be exactly 16 by 9, kind of easy. But I kind of just guessed, guessed how big it would be. It looks fine. Still can? Yep, I could probably go into here and like select press N. To Edge mode selection. Kind of want to take a picture of how badly displays color, particularly in the geo triangle. Don't want it reflecting half the continent. Understandable. Select the vertical edge of the screen. This one? Like, like that. Uh, doesn't show the thing? No worries. I figured if I just took all, zoom in on that edge. I figured if I just took all of the things I could kind of see under object. I could see that... Oh, I guess the scale wouldn't because the scales have been applied. Enable the magnet? At the top, enable the magnet. I have, I have clicked a magnet. I, I don't know what that does. Now on the left, scale, select the icon that's two rulers and an angle, this one. Now measure it. I think it measured the inside. Uh, 
Whoops. Assuming you can do wait. Oh no. Two point three eight meters long. <laughs> it's click and drag. Gotcha. don't need to do that. What do I need to do? I need to scooch it in a bit. It needs to be Let's say the width is W and the height is H. Do an algebra. <laughs> That's what this is, isn't it? Uh, scale the width, select the screen. I want to SX, but I'll want to, I need to drag everything, press equal, I did, press it. That is, oh, whoops, there was more. <laughs> but Stewie, won't this just change the size of the screen? Don't I want to get all of it? So, how's your tape going? Why won't they scale uniformly? What 
Let's do the thing again. SX equals 16 times 2.38327 divided by open parenthesis. Good having coffee? Hell yeah. I'm gonna have coffee too. Nine times four point eight four seven two five. Close parenthesis. And then enter. So then this should be 16 by 9, right? For the raid, heckin' hearts. Uh, and thanks for the resum. What were you up to? Soft run game dev, nice. Exo, do you have a link to any screenshots or um or anything that you want to share? So raid, hell yeah! Started working on my new game today. Came over for screenshots. All right. Wait, your your new new game? The one that Titan Seeker's helping you with? Hell yes! Gotta go cook a dinner. Nice, nice. I hope your dinner is tasty, Aaron. intense, huh? Let's see. Oh gosh, I remember this place. In the culverts in, uh, next to Prontera. Ragnarok online stuff was just getting a little too intense. Hunting golden thief bugs? Exactly. Alright, so let's use the measuring tool again. Oh! It did change. Uh, delete. Like, how do I delete a measurement? Photos of Neil Anderson. Jeffrey's wedding at Dodgeman Station. It's an item. Whoa! Oh, this 
place looks amazing. Oh, I want to explore it. This is Titan Seeker stuff, yeah, right? Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm super excited for you. Hell yes. Did you make it to all the modeling? Nice, nice. Okay, honestly, this little like sleeping pod area looks super cozy. Kinda reminds me of um like the bedrooms in Near Automata. Um I always thought like in the in the space bunker. Those always look super cozy. Uh thanks for sharing, Ixo, and thanks so much for the raid. And for the resub, holy flip. Except for the decals, there are no textures. Ooh, nice. Uh, I am slowly but surely getting a desk modeled also. It's, it's going. <laughs> Hi, Leah. How's your day going? Um, nice desk. Oh, thank you. I'm... Oops. Uh, I am very new to Blender. Uh, one, two. Thanks. Wait. Three, five, five. Point three, eight. Yeah, nice. It is 16 by 9 now. I'm blending your desk. Yes. The monitor is to the scale. I mean, yeah, kind of. Oh, it's table for later. Oh, no, the puns are coming back. Food yourself? Alright, Exo. Thanks so much for the raid, and I hope your food is tasty. Mm. So now I'm wondering. Did I make. Oops, no. not really what I want. <laughs> it's very silly though. Don't select the side faces of the support.
just like the monitor angle it up a bit. Oh, do you mean give it some tilt? I see, I see. Yes. Uh, thanks for the hydrate, botanist. Meow. It was a meow. Did the boop not work? Uh, must be four hours already. I need to restart people box. It was just past four hours. At the four hour mark, the the Beepo box loses its its association with Twitch and has to be restarted and reconnected. Alright, so Really get onto that lazy dev? No worries, Freb. Small price to pay. Twitch doesn't let you redeem anything? Oh. Wait, I don't want that. I think I want yeah. just the monitor. It's a nice monitor. Thanks, Felix. Uh, I'm gonna punch semicolons in the face. Semicolons? The, the concept? Sort of like this, right? Is kind of what you were thinking? Yeah, that feels, that definitely feels more natural. Press control L. Oh gosh, that selected everything though. Select any part of the monitor. Just one thing. Control L. Wait, how did it know how to do that? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's super helpful. Yeah. Oh, that is, that is super nice. Control L is select linked. Nice. Yeah, let's give you a little bit of a tilt. Maybe not that much. Yeah, just a little. That's, that's good. Ah, uh, this is, this is actually turning out kind of nice. Well. stat comment. Should I learn some coding to expand my skill set for jobs in the future? Online courses? Hell yeah. Learning JavaScript? I want to punch semicolons? Understandable. Or 
now that I know I can do different materials for the same object. Wait, what? Why are you pink? Oh, because I'm in texture paint. Not in material preview mode. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see, do I want the table legs to be wooden or... And here it's all dark because it's in the viewport render mode. There we go. So, make the environment visible too. What environment? Opacity? What is this? Where, where am I? <laughs> is this like some sort of forest? Mysterious blurred forest with a computer. No vain space. Uh, the big ball. What? What are you? This looks kind of scary. Where? Where are we? Video by can lower the blur to see it better. Oh, oh my, <laughs> we are in a hotel room, floating in a hotel room. photography studio. Okay. We are in someone's garage and there's a pupper down there. That's how an isekai starts? Exactly. Let me just use the delight and reflection for the preview. Ah. Uh. If I made a desk for the suspicious extra chair you get in hotel rooms. Exactly. Who is that chair for? Desk kind of looks like mine, only mine has metal legs. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to change the legs to metal in just a bit. But then I got... Then I learned that this is a thing. So now we're here. This kind of looks like I don't know, am I in the Shire? Is this Hobbiton? Uh, meow. That doggo is so good, I love them. Aw, nice little doggo. Meow. 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 Color materials behave in many environments. Ah. I kind of like this one. A little coast area. This one's fun. So much, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Poor computer is going to get all rusty. Yeah. Computer does have rust. The little crab. Nice. I knew it. I knew that crab was coming. I heckin' knew it. All right, so the legs. Uh, wait, I'm in object mode. No, I am in edit mode. Oh, but desk. Select faces. Uh -huh. Jingle Miardin? Jingle? Oh, like a bell jingle. Maybe. Yeah. Go in, oh, go in object mode. Select desk. Back here. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So then if we do this, we want a new material. Assign it. It's kind of make it a little metally. Whoops, ah, uh, what happened? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I changed all the values at once. Uh, Christmas song with just Nias. Ooh, nice. Got ahead of it. Have fun building a desk or blending a desk. Ah, uh, yes, sleep well, myriad. Jingle nya, jingle nya, jingle all the nya. Also, just realized with all the mood stuff in Blender, focus on keyboard shortcuts, Blender is just 3D Vim. Kinda. Yeah, I think I might have panicked and un. un pressed undo too many times. Desk legs. And then... Alright, let's... What? smooth <laughs> uh, shade auto smooth oh will shade auto smooth do like uh, smooth on like the different ones oh, okay I gotcha so for the desk parts it'll do it like the flat but on the other ones, it does it. Okay, nice. Make your legs smooth. My legs are pretty smooth. Uh, there, there's. I mean, never mind. <laughs> now you have smooth legs. Nice. Hell yeah.
Yeah, that looks good. I'm liking it. The desk is a bit big now that I look at it. But, you know. I bet. Hold on. Twenty meters across? Yeah, it's it's not it's not too big, right? Not too big at all. Origin is in a weird place. This the cursor thing? Yeah, I thought so too. I've remembered how to... Oh, the orange dot? What's it doing over there? Desk is bigger than the boat I want. <laughs> Maybe you could use the desk as a boat. Do Nova, do you have a game in mind? Just make an S no game. I have two games in mind. I could just do another collect game, and that's always my fallback. Or I was thinking about maybe doing a claw machine game, but in 3D this time. Uh, shift S cursor to world origin. That didn't move the dot, though. F3? Origin... Origin to 3D cursor? Nice. Perfect. Okay, that one has its origin. That's a good origin. And that's a good origin. Yeah, it was just the desk that was weird. Do you seem to like your collection games? Listen, I'm still holding on to my challenge of using everybody's art assets in my game. So a collection game is just easy. But I also thought that maybe a claw machine game might be easy too. Because then I could just have all the items as prizes that randomly spawn. And you could scoop them up. Comfy gotcha. Yes, exactly. Well, wait, no, not a gotcha. A comfy crane game. I could be a gotcha too, though. That's not a bad idea. Can't wait to collect a full desk plus computer. This would probably be a background thing. One thing on the monitor? Monitor. Pretty gnarly pizza in the claw. In the claw machine. Oh, pretty gnarly prize. I don't know why I read that as pizza. <laughs> gnarly pizza. Set the UV of the screen, just the screen, to fit the whole UV. Wait, what? is on the display stand. Yes. Set the UV of the screen. Uh, how, how do I unwrap the screen? Oh right, it's you. 
unwrap. But I don't want it on here, do I? The mouse texture? Hit sideways. Oh no. Texture shows doesn't matter. unwrap uh, fell holes oh my uh, conform you again. Oh, do I want to project from view bounds and do like Stand this right. You can put anything on the screen. So back in Godot. Editable children, monitor. Surface material override. Oops. Oh, so it's going to be one of those two. This is going to be... Oh, okay, okay. This! I can use a viewport too? Hell yes! Okay, this is going to be... Yes. Yes, Stewie. I'm going to put a game in there. Hell yes. Oh, okay, this opens up a whole new bunch of cool stuff. Hell yes. Also, I'm going to make a picture frame. And... Because, like, before, in the other two game jams, I would, like, I'd end up taking other people's stuff that they made. Like, I think in the last one, it was like somebody made a button, and I ended up making a picture frame out of the button. But this time... And then I'd, like, kind of wiggle... Uh, textures into place but this time I'm gonna make a real picture frame and I'll have um, I'll have a, a, a UV in it and I can put stuff in it ah oh, that's gonna be amazing hell
Should I remake the mesh combiner? Um, it might be helpful. Maybe. Honestly, Stewie, now that I think about it, if you wanted to like submit a bunch of helpful tools and stuff for like the art portion of the gym, I think that'd be fine. I think that'd be super helpful to some people. And, and it doesn't have to be stuff, and this goes for everybody, for the art portion of the gym, um, the stuff doesn't have to be made like specifically during the jam. It can be stuff you made earlier. Um, mostly be Godot only though. Understandable. Well, I'd certainly use it. Um, let's see. Throw the gift importer in there. Yes. That would be super fun. Oh, I'm kind of digging this though. The the workflow that like I can edit something in Blender and then it just gets re-imported over here and it's just ready to go is super rad. The blender path yep yeah that was the first thing i did and then we found out that it doesn't work with blender 4 um you have to use blender 3. so i went and got the the long-term support version that 3.61 yep it does say blender 3 but i i was i was kind of hoping it was like blender 3 plus maybe but it's okay I'd rather I'd rather be using the long-term support version anyways. L long-term support of Blender, I mean. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh 4.1.3 Nice, I'll have to update. All right. I think, though, I might wrap up stream. I kind of feel like I should go eat more food. And we got the desk. That's, I feel like, pretty decent progress. Very nice to see you again. Aw, oh, thanks, Dewey. It's, it's nice to be back. Hopefully I'll stream more often. And sorry, everyone, that I was away for like a month. It was traveling, then COVID, then I got kind of nervous about stuff and um, it's going fast. That uh, will never not be funny. Wait, the feet? In the overlay? Wait, what in the? Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That is super silly. The new issue? Oh, gotcha. Well, let's see. Can you make my own again? Wait, again, again? I was been gone for a month. No, no shout outs to me. 
Um, but let's see who we should raid. Don't let him. Oh, that one, that one. Okay. For a second there, I thought you were talking about like a new, new one that you made. C sharp and GD script. Ah, gotcha. Um. Hmm. Uh, if Freb was streaming, I'd probably raid Freb. Just sort of a. Uh, I don't know if Freb's still there or not. I know. I know it's kind of your day. Oh, wait. Oh, I just heard. I'm sorry. All right, I just read. I hope, I hope, I hope she feels better. Sorry, Freb. Um, she's fine? Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, Squishy Wren? That may be a good one. Yeah. Okay. I see she's got this cat girl slime. Uh Yep, we're 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 doing that. I'm I'm all about that. Um this is who we are going to raid. Um Thanks everyone for stepping st uh, stopping by, not stepping by. Um, don't step uh, unless you want to. Maybe a little step. Um, <laughs> there is the raid message. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, hydrate and stretch. Stewie so had to get them in. Have yourself a good one. I will. And hydrate. Oh no, Stewie. Um, but yeah, it'd be super nice if you could all, if you want to, like get, uh, say, say hi to Squishy Ren. Um, yeah, it's been super fun. Um, I'm gonna try to stream again more often. Um, and learn Blender. And put these art assets for the jam. Okay, but yeah. Bye.